Hey guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Back from the dead, sort of. Still not 100%, but feeling perky enough to go ahead and uh, just do a couple little five inch rounds, nothing fancy. Gonna um, go old school and use the easiest pouring medium recipe ever. Just a little bit of Elmer's glue mixed with water, one to one ratio with uh, trace amounts of water added for consistency. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna break out the silicone today and just do a couple little pieces and uh, we'll go big next time. Let me get you down. Okay guys, so uh, it is play day today. Uh, I'm using my glue and water recipe. Recipe, colors, brands, pour medium, discount codes, all of that is in the description section. All you have to do is tap or click on the description of this video and you'll get the drop down box. Um, let's go over the colors real quick. So back in the day, I used to do these series of black and white plus three. So that's what I started with. So we have Amsterdam's titanium white and Amsterdam's carbon black. So that's what I started with. And then I went with Artist Loft Professional Series here. That's turquoise. And I have some uh, Pebio Studio Acrylics. This is their, what is this? Their Prussian Blue Hue. So the hue's a little lighter than regular Prussian Blue. It's still a gorgeous color. I have some, I'm using all the brands today. I have some Orteza Pearl Lime Green right here. And then I have some more Pebio and Iridescent Precious Gold here. And then finally, I made up a color. Um, I pre-dispersed some, uh, this little piggy, some TLP. This is Caramel Drizzle. And I took caramel drizzle, pre-dispersed it in a little bit of Joe Sonia varnish to wet it and give it a good stir. And then I added that to my pouring medium. And that color was a little soft for what I wanted. And, and copper was a little bit too coppery. <laughs> so I added like a dollop, I mean like just like a little baby squirt of iridescent copper into my um, caramel drizzle and I got this shade right here. So it's a nice softer version of a copper right here. Really like that. It's got all the sparkles from the TLP. So that's the homemade color of the day. I am going to use my silicone today and I don't know if I'm going to do four or three. We'll see how far we get. I've got my palette knife here, my torch. And I wanted to show you the, the uh, consistency of the paint. It's basically one to one ratio. And I left them a little bit thicker. So you do get a mound on a mound and it takes a second to disappear. That's my preferred consistency. And it might be even a little on the thicker side for me. But um, we're gonna try that. And if it's too thick, we can always add either a little more pouring medium or just a little dash of water. In fact, you know what, let's do that. Let's add a little bit of water so I can show you what that looks like. Because let me see, this looks a little thick. So my little cup of just tap water, because I have good water in my area. And I mean, not even a dime size worth of water added to that. Give it a mix. Scrape your sides. Make sure your stick is hitting the bottom of the cup. Stir in circles. Do not beat your paint like it's an egg. I see a lot of people do this and they beat it like it's an egg. Well, hell's bells, guys. Just when I was to do, about to do that first one, um, somebody texted me. <coughs> and I usually put my phone on airplane mode, do not disturb, but because they texted me, my uh, video went off. I've done one already. I'll show you in a minute. 
I don't like this one, so we're just gonna start over as if this was the first one. It's too dark for me. I added too much black. So we're gonna scrape it off and go again. So sorry about that. We'll just pretend this is the new one. So I'm gonna scrape most of that off. And we'll go again. I'll just take my finger and smooth this around so it's wet. And in the interim, I uh, put some kills on a couple square wood pieces too, little five inch ones that we can do to make up for it. All right, do over. So let's take white, start again with some white, and then let's give my paints a mix as we go because they've been sitting a couple minutes now. And we'll do the Prussian blue hue. Let's throw in some gold this time. A little bit of gold, or a lot of gold. Let's bling it out. Let's do a bunch of gold. And then turquoise. I like black on turquoise because it makes a really pretty shade of blue, but we're only going to do a little bit. We'll just let it hit it a little like that. Some of the pearl lime green. Mm. And maybe some more gold. And a little more Prussian blue. We'll give this one a flip. There we go. All right. Bombs away. And while we're waiting for that one, let's go ahead and mix up the next one. Kind of get an assembly line going. I'm going to start with black on this one. And then white. I'm going to do like a little black and white sandwich, I think. And let's put turquoise with some, where's that copper color? The copper color, stir that up. Followed by, let's put some gold and copper together. Mm. A little bit of pistachio. I keep wanting to call it pistachio, but it's not. It's pearl lime. And then some more turquoise. And then, let's see, I did black, white. So now we'll do, it should be white, black, but we're going to do black, white. And put the uh, white on top. There we go. I'll put him to the side. Can you guys see that one? Yeah. And we'll flip that right there and come back to this one. Let's give that a lip because I don't like how the colors came out. Something like that. And I was saying normally, if this were a larger piece, I would tilt first, give it a torch, and then continue tilting. But these are so tiny, and you got edges so close by everywhere, that I just torch first, and then tilt. Let's see what we get here. In a second. Plenty of paint to work with. I don't know if I like that blob of turquoise. Let's take that off. 
We'll leave some on the edge. And we'll come up this way. And take one spot off there. Got my gold everywhere. I need to come down to like here. Oh, there goes the wind blowing the door. Mm, I see these cells here, they're kind of wonky. These are too small to put up with wonky cells. So we're gonna take that off. I'm not 100% sold on this one. I don't know. We'll let it live for a second, but I might revisit it. My uh, cookie cutter stuck to it, so I'm just going to put that off to the side because I'm not real sure I like it. Let's try this one. Mm -hmm. Got a little pattern going. Kind of like that. I like the color combo in this one very much. I'll just use up the leftover paint. It's going to roll off anyway. Waste not, want not. And since most of these are going to have a similar palette, you can use it to roll off the sides. Yeah, let's give this a torch. Seems like plenty. Let's take off the uh, paint I just put on with my palette knife. Roll that off there. Come off of this side. Oh yeah, I'm liking this one much better. See, I know that, that first one we just did, that's gonna be a goner. That's gonna be a do-over. This one's much prettier. That copper shade is really pretty with the um, with the pigment. Make sure I got my sides everywhere. Wipe off the bottom. Oh yeah, that one that one's a winner for me for sure. Uh, I'll hold it up close. I'll get you down on all of these. I'll show you the first one that you guys missed because my camera was turned off. So there's that guy. Here's a button. And I'm going to revisit this other one because I don't like it now. Let's put him away over here. Somewhere safe. And let's grab this guy back. Yeah, it's just... It's not only the colors. Um, I don't like the composition of this at all. And the other one's just much more crisper and cleaner. And hmm, I don't know if I can do anything about it. Yeah, I just don't like it. What are you gonna do? I don't like it. So I'm gonna scrape that one off. And let's go again. I'm gonna reuse this one cup. It has a little bit of green at the bottom. That shouldn't hurt anything. And let's start with black. And then white. And I feel like just doing, um, like the blues. Let's do the turquoise. The phthalo blue hue. And then the pearl line. Let's put some black on top of that. So no, um, 
No copper or gold in this one. And then a little bit of white. Just a little bit. Low on white already. And Geronimo. We'll mix up. I have one more. After this. Maybe two. We'll see how much paint I have. I'm just taking out some of the paint because I want to reuse this cup. Then I'm going to put black on the bottom again. Seems to be my favorite thing to do today. And let's go with the gold now. Like a lot of gold. Let's put the copper on top of the gold. Why not? Mm. Let's do the copper and green together. And this one, I think I'm going to skip the um, blues. Let's get the blue and the turquoise. And we'll go black again. And a little bit of white. There we go. We'll flip him. I don't know if I'll be in frame or not. If I put it there, can you see it? Oh, yeah. Let's flip this one on this guy. And come back and... This is our do-over, right? Any paint? I love blue and black together. Oh my goodness. I really do. Wow, that one sewed up like crazy. I wanted to get some in that black. Let's see how that goes. I know that black blob right there is going to need to be dealt with. I don't have to deal with you, my pretty. That's, uh,. Let's take off the old stuff here and there. Hmm. Very dramatic because you got black lacy or black um, rings around some of the cells, and other cells have the white rings. I got that black in the middle. And here's the dilemma, like this part is just, let me hold that up. These are gorgeous. And if to get rid of this, they would, they would definitely get lost. Let me hold it up so you can see what I'm talking about. Right there, those cells. But I feel like there's a black stain in the middle of this. So let's stretch one out a bit anyway. So we're just going to stretch it sideways. And take off. And come back a second. And let's take those brighter cells kind of across. I'm going to clean up the top of this here. A bit. Lose some of the white. Not all of it, but a bunch of it. Leave a little bit. Let me stare at that one. Yeah, see, that's just, that's great. That's better than the uh, the first iteration, right? At least I think so. I took off a lot of paint, which is good. So I always worry a little bit about these because it's just glue and water and paint. And there's no like GAC 800 in it or anything to help it dry a little slower or prevent the cracking. So these will definitely get covered up. I'm just taking a little more off this bottom if I can. Can I, can I? Go ahead, yeah. Go ahead, yeah, and I'll bring it back up just to lose a little more paint.
I, I don't like that one white cell. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to press my luck with this guy. It can like hang off the edge a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's a keeper. I'll hold this one up real quick. I'll move him out of the way. There's that guy. He's pretty cool. And then, well, let me like make a little spot here. And bring this one over. And then I might have enough paint to do one square one. So what are we doing here? This is copper and gold, right? I think, the black. Oh yeah. With the green. Hmm. See if I like this color combo. I don't know. No blues in this one. All right. Let's give this a torch. here oh my goodness dude go away Sorry for the noise. Hopefully the guy with the leaf blower will start walking away in a second. I'm hoping. Be right back. Got to close the door. Or, or is he leaving? I apologize. Let me go close the door. They were in the back of my house before and I had to stop and say, sorry guys, let me close my French doors. And now he's like moved to the front of my house. Oh my goodness. Yep. Be right back. All right. A bit quieter now. Sorry about that. Uh, it's only like 75 here right now. So, and there's a nice breeze. So we're like, <gasps> We could turn off the air conditioning and air conditioning and you know get some fresh air going in the house and we were foiled. That's kind of cool. What do we think? Very unusual with the green, but I'm kind of grooving on it. And I like my composition very much. Like the little wiggle pattern going through this and the gold and the copper with the black. Um really cool. So there's that guy. Right? And then, so that's, I well, you've seen three. I've done four. Um, we'll do one more, because I'm starting to really run low on paint. So this time, let's do a square. And yeah, I'm gonna just grab a square. I need a cup to put it on though. Well, let me put it on this cup. I'm going to set it on a cup because uh, my cookie cutters are in a bucket of water. So here's a wood square. It also has kills on it. I just smooched it with paint because my hands are a mess. And I'm going to use the same cup because I'm going to put black in it again. And I think this one we do all the colors. And hopefully it works because if I do that, I will be out of paint. And that'll be it for the fun little ones today. Oh, it's funny, I I started 
I decided to do little ones because I'm still not feeling well and kind of low energy today. But now that I'm painting, I feel kind of perky. I'm like, oh, I could have done a big one today. But, all right, so there's the black. Let's put a little bit of white on top. Yeah, this will definitely be the last one. So I hope it's not a fail because I will be out of paint. And let's go light color on top of that black. So let's go with the green. We'll do turquoise. Yep, there goes the turquoise. This is definitely the last one. Under the turquoise. Let's go gold and then copper. I loved how those turned out together in the last one. Oh, now the uh, guy went away after I closed up my whole house from the noise. The leaf blower dude. I'm like, what leaves are there to blow anyway? It's, the, you know, it's August. And then, then the copper. And then, where's my dark blue? So far, I think my favorite is the one without any blues in it, which surprises me because I'm such a blue girl. It's my favorite color of all time. So, and we're gonna kill off the white and this will be it. Let's see how this turns out. Give it a flip. And I'm gonna scoop up some of this paint around it. And just do my corners. Hopefully that'll get rolled off anyway. And so I'll put some here. And then yeah, we'll just give it a second. Alright, ready? Geronimo. Ooh, I like the white. I like that line of blue too. All right, I'll leave that white there. Let's give this a torch. See how the one lung square turns out. Hmm, I don't know if I like black cells. Let me stare. See what I like. Let's come off this one corner. There, come off the other corner. Wanted to leave some of the lighter cells there. And wiggle our way down. Down off of here, yeah. Off we go. And then bring everything this way. This might take a second. Here. Oh, this comes off. Oh, I'm kind of liking this one too. Let me stare. No, I don't like the one corner. You know me in corners, right? 
All right, we'll leave a little bit. They look amazing. Yeah, they're small though. Yeah, they fit you. Give me one second, I'm almost done, honey. And then... Pretty paintings. Thank you. Uh, my daughter got new glasses, so I gotta check them out. See if I wanna do anything else to this one. Can't do too much, because I'm out of paint. I got two little baby bikini corners that I'm gonna live with. I kinda like this one too. Chloe, Chloe. Give me two minutes, Chloe. And yeah, ta-da. Let me, um, well, you'll see it in a second. Let me clean up, line all these up for you guys, and uh, we'll do close-ups. And yeah, go to wash my hands. Be right back. All right, let's take a look at the uh, wet results. So this is the one you guys missed where my camera cut out. I had a lot of, um, I did the blues and had layered black and white next to each other. That's why I got the gray in there. So that is deliberate on my part. I really like it though. So there's that one. Here is, I think my favorite of the four is this guy here with the copper, the homemade copper color and the gold with that green. Highly unusual, but it works, I think. And I like the composition of that one. Here is Mr. Do Over One. A lot of the turquoise showed up on this one and pretty happy with that guy too for the blue lovers out there um different shades of blue from that one too and then last but not least the little square i ended up tilting <laughs> you guys probably knew i would because i don't like bikini corners so i tilted them off and i kind of like this composition this white almost looks like lacing to me and this looks quite opal down here, so I'm pretty happy with that guy too. Um, I'll show you the dry results, maybe in this video, if they dry in time for tomorrow, tomorrow's upload. But in the meantime, let me flip around and say goodbye. Wow, glory be, they dried in less than 24 hours. Really shocked. One of them died, I dropped it, so. That's why I only showed you four. <laughs> Here's my favorite. So let's start with this. The copper gold and green one. It's, man, I can't wait to resin these. Flip it this way. So, so pretty. That's going to look amazing. So there's one. Here is Mr. Turquoise. These will need to be cleaned. Let's see if you can see like the little tiny specks of shiny resin or resin the silicone in these so yes silicone makes great cells but they do require some cleaning on your part before you varnish or resin them but it's going to look great oh in case you ask me how i clean them i just will wait a couple weeks warm water with a sponge a little bit of dawn dish soap Wipe it off, quick rinse with cool water, pat dry with the paper towel. That's it, you're good to go. Mm, so there's that one, really, that's really cool too. See the, um, the flex of the uh, silver or gold in between the cells there, pretty. Here's the one you guys missed, Mr. Blue, and it's got little specks of color in it too. Really pretty, I like that one. I'm partial to blues and grays, though. And then finally, the square one. Let me see the orientation. This way. Love that one, too. Really cool. So there you have it. Let me say goodbye. All right, guys. Let me know what your favorite is uh, in the comments section. Kind of glad I got to show the dry results in the video, though. Um, I'm going to go take a nap. Uh, special shout out real quick to Ellen and Ricky for supporting my channel. Thank you guys so, so much. Greatly appreciated. Um, I've got a couple collabs coming up. Uh, two, as a matter of fact, and over the next two weeks. So keep an eye out for that. Until then, uh, peace and love to you all. See you in the next video.
Peace out.